in the light of uh, 19 wickets taken by pace bowlers uh, and innings of 130 odd got somehow overshadowed. Now, you started out by saying that the pink ball could pose a few problems in the area outside the office and stuff. We didn't see any of that when you were batting. Could you talk us through what was your experience of playing that innings with the pink ball? Yeah, it was. Um, uh, I think the afternoon session was uh, relatively easier. So, actually, um, you know, we I, I spoke to Sachin Paji on the evening of the first day, and he made a very interesting point as well that probably with the pink ball you'll have to treat the second session like the morning session uh, when it's getting darker and the ball starts to swing and seam and everything. So first session you invariably play like you play from lunch to tea in a normal timing test match and then the second session would be like a morning session and then the last session is like that evening session. So your planning changes, you know, your declaration, strategy, timing, everything changes. As a batsman, your setup changes. So even if you're set and you're batting well, as soon as it gets dark and the lights are on, you know, you can be in trouble uh, very quickly. So luckily I went in when the lights were on so I didn't have to go through that transition but I think um, that will be another challenge in future as well um, but yeah under lights it was a different experience firstly when I walked out it felt like you know IPL game atmosphere so you feel like smashing the first ball but you have to remind yourself that you know you have to play compact um, also because the ball was coming on faster from the pitch um, so yeah a few things it, it seemed a lot more under lights um, swung in the in the first hour of the second session, but seemed throughout the evening uh, till the end of day's play. So it felt good to be in that situation where there's something new, something to challenge you. And then as a batsman, you 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 know enjoy situations where you're challenged and you have to get into a, a test match zone and really you know grind a good spell of bowling out or a good challenging session out. So yeah, I think I. I enjoyed um, that challenge to, to play under lights and a different experience. Thank you. Uh, Brand, the three days saw a lot of good turnout here. So do you think it was down to just the fact that it was a day night test or would you also attribute it to the aggressive marketing that has gone around this test? And do you think that can be carried forward into the red ball game in India to improve turnout? I think it's very, very crucial um, to market test cricket like we do T20 or one day cricket. Uh, because uh, it's, it's not only the job of the players playing, it, it spreads out to the management, then to the cricket board and you know to the uh, home broadcaster as well, how you portray a particular product to the uh, people as well. Because if you create excitement only around, around T20 and not so much around test cricket, then in the psyche of the fan, there's already a, a certain template that's established. So. I think if, if if there's enough buzz created around Test cricket, then yeah, there there will be um, a lot more keenness to come to the stadiums. I'm a big I'm a big fan of having more interactive areas for people during the games, like you have in venues when you play abroad. You know, there's something or the other happening. Maybe a, a play area for kids, or you know, these small things will really really help. Uh, maybe school children could interact with Team India players during lunch, be on the field, play with them, like we see in other countries as well. So. I think all these things will really bring that strength into test cricket and people would want to come and, and ex have an experience of a test match. It should be an event where you come and experience cricket, not just sit there and watch in you know uh, hot conditions. So I think there has to be more for the fan. I totally agree with that and it has to be marketed that way.